listen, I imagine if you're uh, on the host committee in Nibawa for the Viterra Championship, that uh, probably sold a couple tickets out there for, t for tomorrow, thinking that that's a Manitoba final preview. Do you uh, look at tomorrow's game like that? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, it's going to be one of many, many battles and a lot of big games with those guys. So uh, we already had one this year. Uh, we happen to get the best of them in that one, so they're going to come out hungry tomorrow. And, and you know, the more, more we get to play against each other, the better. So very excited about tomorrow. So talk about today's game, obviously, getting that three early and uh, what a shot. You obviously saw something there and, uh, boy, that just sends a surge of confidence in throughout the lineup, I think. Yeah, totally. I mean, to, to not start with Hammer, get a force in the first end, uh, that's something we've been really good at this week. Um, and then obviously the angles, uh, angles worked out for us in the second and, yeah, from there we, we controlled uh, pretty much the entire game right from the start. When you look ahead to tomorrow, uh, you know, how important is it to win uh, on the national, sta uh, national stage, a 10-end event, and just, you know, set the season going on a, on a real good path for you guys? Yeah, you know, it's, it's always important, but I, th I think perspective is very key here as well. I mean, this is our second event um, in year number one of a four-year cycle we're going through. So, um, I mean, the more we can put ourselves in this sort of situation, the better. Uh, tomorrow is not going to be life or death by any stretch of the matter, but I mean, the more of these we can pick up kind of down the road, um, you're going to see uh, the, the confidence start to blossom with this team. Looking ahead to tomorrow, you're going to be part of this Manitoba rivalry now, and it's never too <laughs> early for uh, Manitoba teams to go head to head and kind of set the stage for what's going to play out. And that's going to be fun to be a part of that, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, I don't really know the feeling of this. Uh, so, no, I'm excited. Uh, obviously, we're going to be battling them in uh, Manitoba for uh, the Briar spot. So, no, I'm just looking forward to, you know, we've played these guys forever. So, uh, just treat it as another game. All right. Uh, Matty today obviously had it going on that uh, the force and one obviously and then following up the way you guys do it uh, uh, You know one of those Matt St Dunstan style shots. How big was that early shift in momentum? Yeah, that was our goal to try to switch that hammer as quickly as we could uh, the force was big um, we Played them last weekend in the semi and we, we struggled um, We came out with a different strategy in this with this today to play more aggressive and it obviously it paid off, right? Um, big games. I mean, that's always a key for any team's development. Get yourself in position to play big games. I imagine you've obviously played a few big games over the years too. You're looking forward in, in a lot of ways to tomorrow. Yeah, I'd say over the last 10 years I've been in quite a few big games, so I think it's important for, to get Colton in these big games. Um, he, hasn't ha he doesn't have the experience yet, so to get him in a final in a big event like this is, I think, very important early on. So uh, he handled himself well today, and you know, it's just another big game, and just treat it as another game. That was a thriller. I mean, uh, just the way that played out, uh, there was no way to predict how it was going to go, and it's typical that it should go to a last rock uh, to, onto the button. Yeah, that's crazy. That um, The format makes it a lot interesting. Um, no extra end. Yesterday we were in the same position against Cooey. We were up one, I think, without the hammer. And it just we, it made us play a whole different strategy. And same with this one here too. In the ninth end, we were actually okay with giving up a two. We just didn't want to give up a blank. And unfortunately, <laughs> he made a real good shot. We got, got a blank, right? But um, no, we made a lot of good shots. And we it was fortunate that Reed played that intern draw on his first one. So we knew that path. I was pretty confident Reed was going to hit the button at least. And Brad had to go to a different spot, a little fresh. And he just got caught a bit and went a little bit heavy. You like seeing uh, Reed with the draw weight in his hand. You knew he had draw weight, especially like you said, he played that shot just before. Yeah, he his draw weight's been on point this week. Um, he hasn't missed too many draws. Um, and again, especially because we just played that turn. Um, he just threw it. We were confident that he was going to hit the button. And sure enough, he put it right on the button pretty much so. So look ahead to tomorrow. Obviously, you know those guys. Yep. And uh, it's never too soon to start thinking ahead and what could play out in Nepal in February. Yep. And is it, do you need to send messages at this point of the season? No, we're, we're all good buddies. I'm sure uh, I'm sure we'll have some chirping going on maybe tonight, but uh, it's going to be a good game, and I mean, we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's early in the year, and I mean, we're just, you know, the team's rolling right now, so we're just going to give it all we got tomorrow and have some fun and get the crowd pumped up and hopefully give that read that last shot in the, you know, extra end with the draw again to win, and I like our chances. Sort of a boring game, not too much going on in that. Uh, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Whoa. <Well, laughs> yeah. You must have felt pretty confident to, to play that intern. You just played it, obviously, to, to get the uh, just late in the game and yeah. having it a, cha well, a to chance ha to play have, it. Yeah, to have the choice. And honestly, he had, a, he had a shot there to make it. And the way that EJ can make the rock curl, um, I was a little bit nervous. So to have the chance in the draw, I liked that I had to make him play the out turn. Uh, it gave me a good chance to just throw that same shot over again and just give it to the guys. 
when we're talking about a team's development and a new team that you guys are still kind of working together, working through things, how big a deal is it to win semifinals and get into finals and play big games at this stage? Uh, yeah, big, really big. It's been a, I'll just say it's been a while since we had beaten Gushu. So, like my, my, personally, myself and Derek, uh, dating a few years back, we'll say. So, it's a confidence booster. It's a great team. Uh, they're obviously in their infancy stages, you know, bringing on EJ, it's their first event. But uh, for us, yeah, this is a nice little stepping stone to bring some confidence moving forward the rest of the year. Two new look Manitoba teams, and they'll play in the final tomorrow. And yeah. it's hard not to look down the road. Maybe this is a final preview for Nipawa. Yeah, you never know. And there's Calvert and a whole bunch of other really good teams too. So Manitoba is very, very tough. But uh, no, it's nice points and points and some cash, and we get to play in a big final versus Team Dunstone.